Okay, let's look at another example. Elizabeth buys six cans of cat food a week and a bag of cat food every four weeks. Cans of cat, cans of cat food cost $1.25 each. A bag of cat food costs $57.20. Are these fixed or variable expenses? What will the cost be after four weeks for the cat food? So I'm going to press, uh, I want you to press pause and decide which one it could be and see if you can figure out what the cost would be. Okay, so based on the information from this question, it sounds like it's the same every week. So it's going to be a fixed expense. And then what will the cost be after four weeks for the cat food? So here is the plan that I've come up with. Week one, she's going to buy six cans, and then each can is $1.25, so I would do six times $1.25. Week two would be the same. Week three would be the same. But then week four, I have to buy the cans of cat food, but then I also have to buy that bag of cat food, which will last me four weeks. So this is a two-step problem. Six times a dollar twenty-five. 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 Add those up, and then add the uh, cost of the bag of cat food. So a dollar twenty-five times six is seven dollars and fifty cents for one week. Since there's four weeks, I went ahead and just multiplied by four, but you could also do seven dollars and fifty cents plus seven dollars and fifty cents plus seven dollars and fifty cents plus seven dollars and fifty cents. So you get $30, and then you're going to add the cost of the bag of cat food, and then you'll get $87.20, and that's your answer. Okay, let's look at another example. James rides the train to work and back five days a week. The train costs $1.25 each way. Sometimes he reads a newspaper to read on the train. The cost is $0.75 cents a day. How much does he spend for fixed expenses? So I want you to circle what is the fixed expenses, and then come up with a plan on how would you solve it, and then press play. So press pause right now to figure it out. Okay, so riding the train back to work and back five days a week, it's $1.25 each way. It doesn't say anything about it being different, or sometimes he goes and sometimes he doesn't. So those are my fixed expenses. It says sometimes he reads the newspaper to read on the train. That is $0.75 cents a day. So that's by choice, so that's a variable expense. So we don't need to worry about any of that for this question. So how much does he spend for fixed expenses? So you need to pay attention to this because it says five days a week, but one way, so when going to work it's $1.25, but then coming back it's also $1.25. So it's actually 10 times he's getting on the train. So if you're getting on the train 10 times, you have to do a dollar twenty-five times ten. And so my total cost, this total cost for the train for fixed expenses would be twelve dollars and fifty cents. Okay, let's look at another example. James rides the train to work and back five days a week. The train costs $1.25 each way. Sometimes he reads a newspaper to read on the train. The cost is $0.75 cents a day. How much does he spend for fixed expenses? So I want you to circle what is the fixed expenses and then come up with a plan on how would you solve it and then press play. So press pause right now to figure it out. Okay, so riding the train back to work and back five days a week, it's $1.25 each way. It doesn't say anything about it being different, or sometimes he goes and sometimes he doesn't. So those are my fixed expenses. It says sometimes he reads the newspaper to read on the train. That is $0.75 cents a day. So that's by choice, so that's a variable expense. So we don't need to worry about any of that for this question. So how much does he spend for fixed expenses? So... You need to pay attention to this because it says five days a week, but one way, so when going to work it's $1.25, but then coming back it's also $1.25. So it's actually 10 times he's getting on the train. 
So if you're getting on the train 10 times, you have to do a dollar 25 times 10. And so my total cost, this total cost for the train for fixed expenses would be $12.50. Okay, let's look at another example. Gracie has a cat. She buys a bag of cat litter every month for $37.89. How much will litter for a year cost? Is this expense fixed or variable? So press pause, decide if it's fixed or variable, and come up with a plan on how would you solve it, and then press play. Okay, so from this, it doesn't say that sometimes she buys it, sometimes she doesn't. It doesn't say that she'll buy this brand, but then another time she'll buy a different brand. It seems pretty consistent, so it's going to be a fixed expense. And the question is, how much will it cost for a year? Well, for a month, it's $37.89. So... There's 12 months in a year, so I would multiply that by 12, and that's how I will know the total cost. So here is the multiplication. Here's what you get, and then because this is money, you go back two decimal spaces for the cents, and so it's $454.58.